Jamie Dimon explaining how J.P. Morgan Chase lost more than two billion dollars. Two hours of reasonably tough questions. You're obviously renowned, rightfully so, I think, one of the best CEOs in the country. I really appreciate you voluntarily coming in to talk with us. You've done pretty well. You made the statement, the answer isn't more regulation, it's smarter, stronger regulation. And I absolutely, strongly agree with that. I think a lot of us are frustrated bank managers and want to manage your business for you. Would you feel better in a Closed hearing. Stop foreclosures now! Stop foreclosures now! So what happened? Looks a lot like proprietary trading designed to generate as much profit as you could generate. Paraphrase Shakespeare, a hedge or not a hedge. Were you investing or were you hedging? No, I would call this hedging at the, that point in okay. time. Classic hedging. You were pursuing a synthetic loan portfolio selling CDSs, which in essence was a toxic instrument that caused a big part of our challenges of 2008. Definitely was a dumb move. I was dead wrong. Sir, they're, they're Sir, factually wrong. This is not your hearing. I do understand the intent of the Volcker Rule. The Volcker Rule, when it came out, has so many pieces to it. I don't think it was binary more or less. Think of it as uh, traffic laws. Some streets should be different, some, some lights should be bright. I don't know what the Volcker Rule is. It hasn't been written yet. It's very complicated. You didn't really know what the Volcker Rule is. Yeah. Uh, boy, if you don't, uh, we don't either. But I think the question that bothers most people is, what's to stop this from happening again? We'll do whatever you want. We'll even get apartments down here. Let's go through in detail. Let's agree to disagree. And at the end of the day, we can all shake hands, new system in place, and move forward.